What we're going to do is have the expert here um, show us some of the features of this um, speaker here. It's got a panel here, which you don't often find on powered speakers. We're going to learn about what's really going on with this and how we can really maximize this speaker's potential. So I'll let you Sweet. turn it on. So I'm going to turn it on, and it's going to take a couple, a couple seconds for it to actually turn on because there's a lot of DSP uh, processing happening inside, so it's kind of initializing all that. Um, uh, and there, are not, there it is. So you notice we have this LCD screen here, which is super cool because there's a lot of new features. Uh, in the in the you know K.2 series boxes that we uh, that we didn't have before in the in the original K series, so we can just go through some of the features. There are three different inputs that you can use. There's a mic line input A, uh, an uh, input B, which could be a line input or a high Z input right from a uh, high impedance source like an acoustic guitar. Um, and there's also a stereo mini jack uh, input as well. And they all have separate gain volume knobs, which is super cool, because now you bring this into a coffee shop, you don't even need a mixer. You can just plug a microphone right into input A, uh, your guitar or keyboard into input B, and you can play some background tracks out of your phone or computer right in uh, input C. So cool, super cool and, and flexible. If we look at the LCD screen here, there's um, uh, a little uh, scroll scroll knob that we can use here on the right side to scroll in between. So if we're looking at A, uh, we can press the bottom button here, and we can change that from line level or a mic level. So you would switch that to mic level if you're plugging a microphone directly into that input A. If we go over to input B, we can change that from a high Z source like an acoustic guitar. Um, or line level. If we're coming from a mixer, uh, we generally always want to stay at line level. So if we go down, there's different presets. Um, so you can switch between default, preset, live, live bright, dance, stage monitor one, stage monitor two, acoustic guitar vocal, bass amp, hand mic, head mic, studio monitor, um, my personal two favorites are the default and the live bright, whether it's in a monitor uh, position on the floor or on a, on a pole as a, from a house speaker. But I would encourage you to um, play around with all the different presets, especially if you're getting feedback, maybe maybe switch it to a, to a floor monitor um, settings yeah. to uh, see what works works best for your, uh, for your source. Next, if we go down, um, this is the, uh, the high pass filter or crossover setting. So when we don't, when we're using this without a subwoofer, um, it extends the low frequencies. Um, so we would have that in, in a no sub mode. Otherwise, if we're using a KS sub from, uh, from QSC, we would switch this to an 80 hertz crossover filter. Or if we're using a, uh, one of the original K or KW or KLA subwoofers, we would use these. There's also a 125 hertz crossover if we're using a, a different sub, and we like that uh, tone. Uh, next, we have delay. This is a super cool feature if you're using, if you're setting these up as delay speakers at a concert. Now, instead of needing a separate outboard processor that is just dedicated for the delay of these um, uh, delay fills or balcony speakers or under balcony speakers, fill speakers. Now we have a dedicated um, delay built in. So the, um, the delay um, is in feet, meters, or milliseconds. So, huh. we can, uh, so we can add delay if we want to timeline certain speakers. EQ. Now there's a parametric um, EQ that we can actually um, set ourselves. So uh, we can we can choose one of our presets, or we can choose default, and now we can alter uh, any EQ settings that we want um, right on board here. So um, we can kind of tailor the sound that we that we want to use with these monitors. 
So if we're having feedback issues, you can dial it in right here, you know, figure out what the feedback frequency is and, and uh, EQ it out right there. Settings, um, there's just some other basic settings about, uh, you can factory reset, you can change the contrast of this L LCD screen, uh, recall scenes or even save scenes. So you can save um, your favorite settings into a scene here uh, as a user defined scene. Cool. Cool. That's kind of an overview anyways. Yeah.